KPRC2 investigates mail theft. It's a growing crime costing people and businesses tens of thousands of dollars. This morning, investigative reporter Amy Davis has an update to a Katy case that we showed you really, uh, it was more than two months ago, Amy. Yeah, it was in August, and the mail theft problem was so bad at the Provincial Professional Park in Katy. Business owners there spent thousands of dollars of their own money to catch the thieves on camera, and they did. And then the Postal Inspection Service let them go. You can probably guess what's happening now. It's 2.45 a.m. on October 6th. Most of us are sleeping, but this guy is helping himself to the mail at this cluster of boxes at this Katy Business Park on Kingsland Boulevard. He takes his time filling his bag and then walks away. 16 minutes later, the thief returns to retrieve the mailbox key he used to open the boxes. This time, the camera recorded his license plate. But when business owners sent this video to the postal inspector assigned to investigate mail theft here in July, they say he replied, report it to your local police. The postal service has been exposed as an easy target. So criminals exploit easy targets, and right now that's the postal service. So who <laughs> suffers? It's actually the... Customers, postal customers. Frank Albergo is the president of the Postal Police Officers Union, one of hundreds of law enforcement officers sidelined in 2020 when the Postal Service benched the entire force and said they only have jurisdiction on Postal Service property. While Postal Police are confined to post offices, this is happening more and more. We had a check stolen and therefore my bank account was compromised, so I had to change everything. Back in July, a postal inspector sent to Houston from New York to crack down on the mail theft problem, set up a sting and arrested the repeat thieves caught on camera here. The business park tenants have a whole playlist of videos showing 19 year old Marquise Dale and 18 year old Jeremiah Gomez stealing mail night after night after night. They ran from police back on July 31st and were charged with unlawfully carrying a gun in a motor vehicle and evading arrest. Two and a half months later, still no federal mail theft charges. When we asked the U.S. Postal Inspection Service why, a spokesperson replied, financial investigations take time and inspectors must gather and present evidence to a prosecutor. And then that prosecutor's office decides whether to proceed with the case. They're making fewer arrests. So the inspection service is making fewer arrests. They're making fewer convictions in regard to mail theft. They have no postal police patrols preventing mail theft. So what would you think is going to happen? Albergo says the postal inspection's own numbers show arrests from mail theft decreased 49 percent from 2018 to 2022, even as the crime was surging. Katy business owners just want the Postal Inspection Service to protect them and their mail from thieves. Now, the Postal Inspection Service also told me that they're installing 12,000 high security blue collection boxes across the country and replacing traditional locks with electronic locks on about 49,000 boxes. Albergo said this represents about 13 percent of the collection boxes in the entire country. And we asked the Postal Inspection Service how many of those 13,000 and 49,000 locks are in the Houston area. We did not get an answer to that. So, I mean, you would imagine it's already a tiny fraction of the ones all across the right. country. So it just seems like it's gotten um, out of control already. Yeah. And maybe they're trying to play catch up. Maybe. So yeah. it looks like a while. It. Yeah. Thank you, Amy. Mm -hmm.